hello everyone in today's video we will be solving these two questions so in the first question we are given earth's atmosphere which is purely nitrogen which is in thermodynamic equilibrium at a temperature of 300 kelvin so we have to calculate the height at which the density of the atmosphere becomes one half of its sea level value so let's start so we know the change in pressure is equal to minus rho g the change in height so our pressure decreases as we go above the mean sea level so there's a decrement and this here rho is a density of atmosphere we know this equation of pv rt so the volume can be written as rt over p we can write this change in pressure which is equal to minus rho g the change in the height so we can write this density as mass over volume times g dh so we can now substitute for volume so the change in pressure is equal to minus mass this is the molecular weight of nitrogen and this is G over R T P D H. So let's take this P here and this is all constant M G R and T D H. So we can put the limit. It's going from mean sea level. We will take this mean sea level to be zero and to a height H. This is P naught the initial pressure and at height h the pressure will become half so this integration becomes log in p from p naught to p naught over half and this is minus m g over r t this is h so let's put the limit so we get log in p over 2 minus log in p naught this is minus m g h over r t so this logarithm can be written as p naught over 2 over p naught this is minus m g h over r t so this can be written as minus log in 2 this is minus m g h over r t So the height is RT over MG log in 2. So let's put the value. So these are the information we are given. We are given the R value. The We will take the G to be 10 meter per second square. And the temperature is 300 Kelvin. And the molecular weight is 28 gram per mole because it is a pure nitrogen. So let's put the value. So this is 8.3 this is 300 log in 2 m is 28 and this is 10 so our height comes out to be 6.16 meter so let's move to the next question so in this question we are given a body of constant heat capacity cp and a temperature ti is put in contact with the reservoir at a temperature tf and the equilibrium between the body and the reservoir is established at constant pressure. So determine the total entropy. We just have to add the change in entropy of the body and the reservoir. So first of all, we have to find out the delta S for body, which is equal to this dQ over T where the temperature is going from ti to tf so this can be written as cp dt over t over ti to tf here cp is a specific heat capacity at constant pressure so let's do the integration cp log in 
Tf over Ti. So this is our delta S for body. Let's find the delta S for reservoir, which is so. This is minus Cp delta T over Tf, the temperature of the reservoir. So this is Tf minus Ti over Tf. So let's find the total change, which is equal to the. So this is the total change. Let this one minus T i by T f b. This whole term be b. So this T i over T f can be written as one minus b. So let's write this expression, this delta s total expression, in terms of p. So the delta s total will become c p log n. So this t f over t i term can be written as inverse of one minus p, and this is c p, and this is p. So we can take the c p. Common, so we are left with one over one minus p minus p. So this delta s total upon c p is equal to log n one over one minus p minus p. So we can write this delta s total over c p. Is equal to minus logarithm one minus p minus p. So let's write the expansion. This is minus p minus p square by two minus p cube by three minus p four by four, and so on. And this is minus p. When we take this minus sign inside, so our expression becomes so this plus minus p will cancel out. So our delta s total over C p is equal to p square by two plus. P Q by three plus P four over. So this will always be a positive. Whether our P, which is one minus T I by T F, is positive or negative, this change in entropy will always be positive. So this is the proof for the second one. If you have any doubts related to these two questions. You can write me in the comment box and if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video